In this video, I'm going to explain how you can screenshot an image, then upload that image to Glitch, and then finally add that image to your HTML. So, when I open up a new web page, I automatically get an image of this cat, so I'll press Command Shift 4. You can screenshot any, any image you like in the same way. Okay, then I release, and then I go New File, Upload a file, and then I select the image of the cat I just screenshotted. Okay, so I go upload a file, and this is the image. You wait a little while while it uploads, then I click on it, and it will automatically give me the URL, the location where the image has been uploaded to. So I can say copy, and then I go into my HTML, which is the index section. Yeah. Okay, now it's a good idea to put a break so you get a new section. Um, and then I simply paste the URL, but you'll see, of course, it's not working yet because I'm not finished. So just like when you add an image URL you've copied from Google, you type in, first you do a pointy arrow, then you type in IMG for image, SRC for source, equals, then you put in here quotation, and you can see my image appeared for a second, but something's wrong because it's not showing properly. So you can go all the way to the end of the URL, um, not too far, and then you do another quotation mark, and then you've got to do another pointy arrow this time pointing to the right. Okay, and you can see it's working. Now, of course, you can make other changes. Um, so you can, for example, go and change the style. And I think I've shown you previously ways you can change the style of images. Um, for example, using this tag. So we can actually add width and height. We can just kind of paste that in behind our URL. So if I go back and paste this in, put a space bar, and then it should change the size. So if I can put height 20, width 20, and height, if it's much more smaller, 20 is probably too small, 60 maybe, and height like 60 as well. And so you can see our picture is a lot smaller. That allows you to adapt it.